afternoon everyone and welcome to today's video. So I'm going to try and do a bit of a fuel system hack on the truck. As you know, if you've seen the past couple of videos, I've been chasing down pretty much a leak down problem where the fuel will drain back to the tank after I turn the truck off. And it takes anywhere from probably about an hour to three hours before it's pretty much drained back and there's nothing in the feed tube. So if you want to check out the previous videos of how I kind of figured this out, if parts have replaced, by all means check it out. There are still options on the table on the return line system that could be replaced to fix this problem. However, I ran into an interesting solution that someone posted up on a forum, and this won't get rid of your leak. Um, in my case, I can't find a visible leak anywhere, so it's probably just subtle enough for air to get sucked in, but not enough fuel to leak out. So I don't think it's going to be a safety issue or anything like that. And pretty much what's going on is I need to figure out a way to stop the fuel from draining back to the tank when I turn the truck off. So right here what we have is a one-way check valve and it's a half inch because I have the Air Dog 165 pump in, and it comes with half inch lines which will fit over these connectors. And uh, the only my only concern, this is ABS, however this is the same part number the guy in the forum used um, as you can see right there. So hopefully it'll work just fine. Uh, if it gets chewed up, it gets chewed up. I'll have to switch to something else but this will at least let me know for now if there's an immediate issue. It's got some thread, uh, thread sealer, we have our adjustable wrenches to tighten everything up. Uh, inlet and outer tubes got them at Home Depot and this little guy so what it is is a one-way check valve and as you can see there's the arrow right there which way the flow is and I've tested just by blowing some air on it pretty much nothing blows that way everything will go out that way so my plan is to put this right after my air dog pump and this way it's at the lowest point in the line so as it goes up to the truck and none of the fuel should be able to drain back because this will be in the way so that's the plan we're gonna go ahead and put this together and then uh started raining now, so once it's done raining, we're gonna go ahead and install it on the truck. As you can see, it's all together. Pretty simple and straightforward. Hopefully this thread sealer does the trick. I didn't want, I wanted to stay away from using Teflon tape or anything like that, just because I don't know how diesel fuel is gonna react to it. So hopefully this stuff will be a little bit better. So yeah, guys, let's go ahead and uh, throw it on the truck and see how it works. Just like that, check valve is installed, arrow is pointing the right direction. So uh, all we gotta do is prime this thing real quick and I guess we're gonna see what happens. The other side of the fuel line comes out right there, as you can see, runs down pretty much right through there. So we're gonna pick up a little bit of the slack, but that's pretty much all there is to it. So pretty straightforward. Let me go ahead and uh, crack this thing right here, probably at the connector right there just so I can make sure it seals back up and uh, turn the pump on. For me, all I have to do is turn the key to the backwards position or run, and that's wired to just turn on, so give it a shot. I did have to tighten it up a good turn or two because it was still too loose and it started leaking. However, I think I got it good, and uh, I didn't see any leaks. I just ran the pump for a while, and I went ahead and bled the top side, so I got a little couple air bubbles to pop out. So now we go ahead and uh, start it up and see what happens. So obviously this first start is not going to be a direct representation. We're going to have to let it run for a while. Make sure there's no more air bubbles, and then I will see what happens. Well, she's trying, but obviously I let the system bleed out because I got air in there, so let's try this again. Yeah, I also adjusted my fuel pressure, so I have closer to 17 PSI now, which should help in terms of running. Almost. This one should do the trick, hopefully. Then I'm gonna let it run. I'm taking it for a spin and make sure we get all the air out. Alright. Just go ahead and make sure we're not leaking anything. Flip on the hot tune.
feeling pretty good so far but uh, pretty much the idea is to make sure we rip it a little bit and any air bubbles on the fuel lines that we put in there hopefully go away and then we can make sure that it's good to go so we'll do like one or two more and then we'll be good Well, this is it. So it felt pretty quick, but in all honesty, my tools did not slide to the back of the bed. So I don't think this is quite as quick as I think it is. Good morning, guys. It is the next morning. So I'm gonna find out if it works or not. And just like that, holy shit. That was a cold start, guys. And uh, fired right up, no problem. I think that fixed the issue. So there you go, fuel system hack. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and test this out tomorrow morning so you'll see that before this clip. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Part number should be in the description and uh, leave a like, comment, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy.